Global Community Cooperative. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 270. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 270, May 27, 2018 edition. What One Community is creating is Global Community Cooperative, and everything you see happening in the background here is our creative process designing and developing seven open source, do it yourself, replicable, sustainable village models that cover all aspects of sustainable living, from food, energy, and housing to the emotional aspects as well, which are high good economic models, fulfilled living models, uh, true earth stewardship models, as well as education models, and so much more. And our idea of creating a global community cooperative is to shift the consciousness and the culture of humanity away from one that is focused on making money to one that is focused on doing what is good and right for the planet, for each other, and for all life here on this planet as well. We believe that if we can provide an environment that gives everything that a person needs, that provides everything that a person needs for them on an abundant lifestyle with surplus to share, we believe that humanity will indeed share that surplus, that people, we think that humanity has demonstrated that when people have enough for themselves, that for the most part, people want to help others. And we think that if the culture of humanity shifted more towards a culture of cooperation and collaboration through models like this, we could create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. People working together, cooperating and collaborating, a global community cooperative of people working together for the highest good, of each other and all life. This to us makes sense and this is what One Community is doing. We're open sourcing and free sharing all of the tools, tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are purpose to invite people in to experience what it is that we're creating, to share it, and to provide all of the open source tools, tutorials, and resources for replication. Creating teacher demonstration hubs designed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs, open source and free shared so that they can be modified, adapted, and evolved to meet the individual needs of, of uh, people with different values and different groups working towards different goals, but really with the foundational value for one community and those that would like to work in cooperation and collaboration with us to create more and more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions and plans for many different variations of sustainable villages that we're creating and inviting people to participate and spreading that idea. But most importantly, creating that culture of cooperation and collaboration, people working together for the highest good of each other. And we think that this is the foundation to addressing all of the challenges of our generation, generations to come. If we look at the way that people are living right now, the unsustainable practices, there are solutions to all of them. There are obvious solutions to most of them. and I think most people would agree that the number one thing that's getting in the way of that uh, is money. It's people wanting to make money off of destructive approaches. People wanting to make money off of approaches that are not helpful to other people. People willing to sacrifice the good of others for their own self gain. And we would like to provide a way for people that don't agree with that model, that would just like to be able to do the right thing, would to live in integrity, to share living in integrity, to be able to do that. And so this is what the seven village models that we've designed are all about. This is what the highest good economic models are all about. This is what the highest good education models are all about. And our goal is to open source and free share every aspect of it to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate living this way as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. Creating solution models designed to create additional solution creating models and creating a culture, a global community cooperative of people working together to address all the challenges that we're facing right now, from the medical industry to war, famine, homelessness, lack of energy infrastructure, lack of education, uh, social injustice and inequality, all of these things we think can be addressed with self-sustainable villages, communities, and cities that are working in cooperation and collaboration specifically 
to address these challenges and all of the associated challenges simultaneously in ways that are replicable. And so this is what one community is doing. This is our idea for addressing the challenges that humanity is facing right now in a way that will last so that we can for once create a sustainable civilization and invite everybody who wants to, to participate. And it doesn't require everybody's participation to create a completely sustainable planet. It actually creates, a, it only requires a fairly small percentage of humanity to be participating to provide enough for everyone. And in a way that really works for everybody that's participating, meaning that it's a win-win situation. And so this is what we're doing. We're a 100% volunteer organization. We're a 100% uh, unpaid organization and we're a nonprofit organization. And we're creating this because we see no greater contribution that we can make to humanity than creating a sustainable planet that will benefit us all. And we want to live this way. And we want to invite others to live this way. And we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And anybody who wants to can live this way. And so this is what we're doing. This is what we're creating. And this is our idea of a global community cooperative working together in cooperation, collaboration for the betterment of all life on this planet. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal, global community cooperative that anybody will be able to participate in within our lifetime, touching the lives of everybody on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team began creating and organizing the Murphy Bed Materials List, as shown here. And Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his ninth week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi finished component updates, simplifying the instructions, and finalizing them so we can now test construction in 3D using them as our guide. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also created this new layout for the introduction to the Cobb Village Pod 3 aspect of the Seven Villages book we're developing. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village render updates too. Here is update 115 of Dean's work, continuing with the final lighting and texture edits and the test renderings of Dining Hall View from the second floor. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 21st week working with the Compressed Earth Block Village Render Editions. This week he finished this render of the game room looking south. You can now see this on the website also. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 8th week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike finished rendering the final game and exercise areas you can see here, and this top-down render of the entire village. These are now integrated into the website too. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 15th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week, she designed and tested new layouts for the upstairs hostel living area. You can see this work in progress here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated the parts list and instructions for the open source city center pipe furniture designs shown here. The core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 78th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing lighting and creating and adding to the website the final comparison of the different direct sconce lighting fixture types. Here you can see this and all the other lighting comparisons we finished. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by generating the beam layout spreadsheet, investigating the cost estimate of TJI beams, and further reviewing and revising the snow load on the living dome platform, some of which you can see here. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, also completed his eighth week helping with the beam design and calculation spreadsheet creation for the city center structural engineering. This week he completed checking the snow load calculations, as shown here. David Olivero, 
mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 20th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was more hardware research, matching zonal information to hardware selections, using previous preliminary analysis of radiant floor layouts for boiling sizing estimates, and adding these details to the HVAC zonal spreadsheet. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her seventh week helping with the Duplical City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was working on the pipe furniture cost analysis by researching and comparing materials, updating some parts, and also working on the pallet furniture and outdoor furniture cost analysis details. Last but not least, Du Hua Feng, civil engineer, completed his fourth week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he modified the fire zones and started creating the AutoCAD sprinkler layouts, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This past week, we researched hay versus straw as a mulch option, researched and removed the use of cardboard and paper as a weed blocker, mulch, and carbon source due to chemicals added to the creation of these products, and made further updates to the garden rollout and trial bed strategy. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued work on the Learning for Life ongoing growth strategies resource and finished the sections for elementary and intermediate students. You can see some of this last week's work here, and we'd say we're about 60% done with the page update and redesign. We also updated our open source Montessori resource page with the best of the Montessori evaluation resources we researched and found, shown here in purple. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team, consisting of Samya Manahar, Shubra Mittal, and Swati Jayasilan, continued their work on the software. This week, they implemented a route to specific user profiles from the user management page, added alphabetized functionality, added a delete functionality in the user management page, worked on resolving deployment issues with the Azure support team, fixed tangible status in time log entry form bugs, added past week data in the reports, current week to be selected by default in the dropdown, changed weeks to date ranges in the chart, reorganized the reports page to include the filter on the top, added the selected week range option on the reports, and removed past week data for options other than the current week. Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, also returned to volunteering and helped fix a variety of Google indexing issues for our website and site map. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards creating a global community cooperative working for the highest good of all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and uh, about 15 other social media networks. Whichever one you're on, we're probably there as well. And if you like the easiest way to help us out, well, you can visit our helping page, and there's lots of different ways to help us out, uh, including, of course, donating to our project. We're 100% unpaid, all-volunteer, nonprofit staff. So every donation that we get helps support our website infrastructure and developing the program. It does not go to paychecks. 
Uh, but if you'd like the easiest way to help us out, share our information. Visit us, join our social media networks, help us get the word out, uh, like our posts, like this video, and uh, help us just spread the word. That is the number one easiest thing that anybody can do to help us out. Because the more people know about what it is that we're doing, the faster and the easier it is for us to grow and develop and continue to do what it is that we're doing. And of course, just watching this video is also helpful. So thanks for your view of this video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your emails. If you're somebody who's donated to us, thank you for the donations. It makes a big deal. And thanks for watching to the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.